Hello friends, happy Tuesday. All right, so pin some of my hair up and then we'll get started. Hopefully you guys are all having a good Tuesday. My daughter this morning was like, is it Wednesday? I was like, it feels like Wednesday. <laughs> So today we are going to do some soft coverage and then I have this new gadget that I'm going to try out. Got it? And we're going to give that a go when we get to that point. But say hello. Let me know where you're watching from. I'm going to leave you a link right here in the comments for you to watch and click on. Um, so this link right here will be able to take you directly to all the makeup I'm using. Kind of still in my like drop off kids clothes just like this Lululemon sweater, um, but I'm gonna change into that outfit after. So hopefully you keep watching on Instagram, especially because that's where I'm gonna film my little get ready with me. Hello, thanks for being here guys. All right, so we're gonna use a spray foundation today. I love this coverage and you're gonna see why. This coverage is just so insanely flawless. It is soft coverage, it is breathable, it is light as air on your skin, it feels amazing. And if you are more of the type that loves like a very soft, breathable coverage, nothing that feels heavy on your skin, you're gonna love the spray foundation. And it's very simple to use. You literally just paint your face with it. That is it, and it, like I said, it feels insanely, soft insanely flawless and so breathable like literally air so here's one side of my face done and then the other like how flawless is that like click the shocked face if you were impressed with that coverage like goodbye discoloration goodbye dryness goodbye uh you know acne scars blemish it like you name it like so soft isn't that incredible if you have not tried the spray foundation you need to. It's available on my website right here on this link and then it has a love it guarantee. So say you try it and you're like, eh, I don't really love it. You can return it for your money back. No problem. And it blends out like a dream. Oh my gosh. It blends out so beautifully. And what's cool too is this is not a cream foundation. It is not a liquid foundation. It is an airbrushed coverage. So it's not going to sit into your fine lines and wrinkles like some of those other foundation types would. It is beautiful on and totally buildable. Yes. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. I'm so glad that the collagen you're getting amazing results with. That's so great. So when I say buildable, I mean that you can add as much as you want and it's not going to look clumpy, cakey or anything like that. It just goes on flawlessly. So it's really customizable depending on like what type of coverage you prefer. Do you prefer full coverage? Do you prefer light coverage? So now as I have my desired coverage on there, now I'm just gonna kind of press this in like so all over. And that will help to smooth everything out too. I'm using the shade Eyelet in the spray foundation. Um, yes, you could get the same color as your other foundation options in the spray. If you're in between colors, like your your current foundation shade is looking a little light, I would go up one. But you can always private message me here on Facebook and I can help you and tell you like what exact color to get. Um, no problem about that. All right, concealer now. This makes a huge difference. I wish I did, just did one eye so I could show you. But this makes a huge difference, especially for your under eye, you guys. This is insane coverage. If you have dark circles or a lot of puffiness on your under eyes, you need this concealer. This concealer has caffeine infused in it too, so it's gonna be extremely firming for your under eye. Yes, for this entire month of March, any order that you place on my website, you are going to get a free sample of the collagen. So say you've been like dying to taste it, so you don't wanna to commit to buying like a full box yet, um, but you wanna taste test it, you, want to place an order this month, any order, no minimum, gets a sample. I did get the lip butters. Alexa, will you bring in the lip butters for me? Yeah. Thanks. I did get them. I forgot. I was going to swatch them today, um, but I'll try them on for you guys too. All right, let me set my makeup now and then we'll swatch our those lip butters too. Yay, thank you. 
Okay, so we're gonna go in with a setting powder, taking a dry beauty blender, taking a setting mist, spit, spritz on there. This is going to basically just stop any lines from forming. If your foundation coverage creases a lot just because of your, you know, skin type or face or whatever, this will be really helpful at holding everything in place. Yay, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So I did obviously like swatch the lip butters when I got them like on my hand. The colors are so pretty. There's one in particular that I'm like obsessed with, but I haven't put them on my lips yet. Yes, this spray foundation is great. So if Darlene, I would recommend setting it like this using a setting powder and the pressed powder. That will really help. Also setting it with the Prime to Set Mist, which adds primer on top will really help too. All right, so we're gonna go in with our pressed powder, just as I've said to Darlene, this is gonna really help to hold your foundation in a place. It's also going to add a really beautiful satin finish to your skin. If your foundation is kind of in between, like it's kind of looking a little too dark or a little too light, using a pressed powder like this is super helpful at, help it, at helping to like even out that complexion. Um, we do have setting powder for dry skin, yes. It's called the Prime to Set Powder, it actually has a water releasing technology in it and is fabulous at helping to set your foundation and still add moisture in so your foundation never looks clumpy or cakey. Again, that's called the Prime to Set Powder and you can get it on my website down here. But it's for dry skin, not oily skin. Uh, message me, darling. Maybe there's another color option for you. All right, let's go ahead and finish off our face and then we'll swatch these lip butters that we just got. So we're going to do the bronzer in the shade medium with our sculpting brush. And we're going to start at the top of the ear and work towards that corner of the mouth. And we're just going to sit right up on top of that cheekbone. This will give us like a little mini facelift. It's also going to warm up our complexion, making it look way more um, warm, warmer, and like that matches better. All right, same thing here up on the temples. Just stick it right in there. Kind of bring it down like so, avoiding the center of our forehead. The best foundation for older skin, I would say, would probably be the stick foundation or the spray. But you can always private message me and I can give you a full recommendation. So we're just going to stick it right underneath our chin and bring it down the neck. This will help to add warmth to that area. And like I said, wherever you have like a contour, um, will recede wherever you have like a highlight pops forward. Yes, I know, I'm finally passing that cold. It's still there a little bit, but you know how they linger. All right, so contours on, so pretty, adds that warmth, give us that little cheekbone lift. <clears throat> and now we're gonna add some blush. Aw, thank you. I'm using the shade Eyelet in the foundation, the shade Lace in my, um, my concealer, the shade Taffeta in my pressed powder, I just used the shade medium in my bronzer, and then now I'm using the shade sisterly in the blush. And how pretty is this blush color? It just simply adds this really gorgeous sheen to our face. Looks so pretty. And then now I'm going to use the shade golden of our fusion highlight, which our fusion highlight's so dang pretty. It is a cross between a cream and a powder finish. So you get the most stunning, really pigmented finish with this. So if your makeup is coming off, you need a really good setting pow setting spray. Um, highly recommend this one. This one has primer infused in it, so it will help to hold your makeup in place so it doesn't come off on your collar. Uh, another option for you too is to make sure that you're using um, like a good transfer proof foundation. The Serum Plus foundation is a transfer proof. So that's another option for you. But if you have any difficulties with your makeup setup right now, please private message me and I can give you a full recommendation. Let's do our brows. And then we'll swatch these lip, these brand new lip butters. I just got them in the mail. These are the brand new ones that just launched and are included in the sale. If you haven't seen our sale this month, it is on all lips, everything for your lips, lip mask, lip liners, lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, you name it, goes on your lips, it is on sale. And it's a build your own bundle. So you can get three products which make up a lip kit for 20% off. Such a good deal. And if you need help picking out what lip colors you are, lip liners, lipsticks, whatever, 
just private message me and I am so happy to help give you a recommendation. If you want like the perfect red lip, perfect pink lip, perfect nude lip, or you just want like a good everyday color for yourself, private message me, I'm always happy to help you. Okay, so brows, we're doing the brow precision pencil. I love this one because it's very precise. Gives you really good accuracy on filling in your brows. So if you have really sparse eyebrows, it's very useful because you get, um, you won't get that like stamp on look, if you will. And then eyeliner really fast. Oh, nice. My hair is, the color is called Platinum Blonde. I have my formula saved on my Instagram underneath Hair360 if you want to hear my stylist like explain, dang it, <laughs> explain what she uses. Um, and then I personally use what's called the Violet Toning Mask. It's from a company called Lange. I'll give you the link to it in the comments. Uh, that is game changer. So if you have blonde hair or highlights, you definitely need that. All right, if you do get eyeliner where it's not supposed to be, I'm just gonna scrape at it actually. I don't think I need that. I'll just use my blending button. We'll make this disappear. How annoying, I've never done that before. Okay, vanished. Okay, so eyeliner's on, our brows are on, our face is pretty much done. Now let's go ahead and swatch these lip liners or these lip butters. So the first one is called Sunshine and Sprinkles. It's a really pretty pale pink. It smells like bubble gum. Has a really pretty pink sheen to it. That's actually really gorgeous all by itself. Isn't that pretty? It's like a pale pink. So perfect for springtime. That one again is Sunshine and Sprinkles. The lip liner to match this would be the shade Pouty. I was not prepared to swatch. I don't have <laughs> any other napkin besides this one, but it's all good. Yeah, and that one color pretty. Not on super pretty. Okay, next one is this one, Picnic in the Park. This one smells like berries. And this one, you guys, oh my gosh. This one's really pigmented. I like that one a lot. This one's kind of like a berry red. Super pretty, almost has a pink tone to it too. Isn't that pretty? Yes, lip butters are great for dry lips. Lip butters are a cross between like a chapstick and a lipstick. They are hydrating and creamy like a chapstick, but they have color like a lipstick. So there's no stickiness like a lip gloss. They're like a chapstick in that way. It's kind of like a tinted lip smackers, if you will. So if you aren't really big into lipsticks, you'll love the lip butters because they're like a chapstick with color. Isn't that pretty? So that one again is called Picnic in the Park. That one might be my favorite actually. All right, that one's a good like hot pink. That color I just had on was called Picnic in the Park. Okay, now we're gonna go in with this Sippin' Sunshine is the color. This one smells like cherries. And it is red. That one's really pretty. It's like an orangey red, not like a hot uh, red with blue undertones. This one's more of an orange red with an orange undertone. Very pretty. And again, that one's called Sippin' Sunshine. Very fun for holiday or if you love a red lip. I know Casual Friday is my favorite too. So for some reason it's gone. <laughs> I don't know where it went. So my new favorite is, I don't know, I'm having a hard time. All weekend I wore spa day. Like when I was at um, my son's baseball games, it was so cold and so dry. So I brought uh, spa day with me, which is a sheer pink. And I used that, which was really pretty because I wasn't really wearing makeup, so. I liked that one because it was soft. Okay, there we have it, all done. Now let's go ahead and put our lipstick on. So 
You can actually order all three of these and get them 20% off. Um, these are brand new colors, so they have a tendency to sell out rather quickly. So if you did love any of these, I would grab them ASAP. I was actually just in a group chat with some people talking about um, limited edition colors and like how fast they sell out and these were mentioned. So if you did love any of these colors, grab them today on my link right there. Go to March special, you'll get 20% off. So again, that was sun, sunshine and sprinkles. Then we did picnic in the park. Then we did sip in sunshine. We're all three. So they do have darker colors, Janine. They have scenic route. They have date night. Those are both darker colors. So there are a ton of colors for lip butters on there. All right, now for lip liner, we're gonna go in with the shade Graceful. And speaking of lip colors, this is a done lip kit. If you have a hard time deciding what colors go with what, this lip liner would go with all three of these colors actually that we just tried on. This is really pretty. It's kind of like a berry. It's again called Graceful. And then now we're going to go with the lipstick in the shade Graceful. So like I said, if you're kind of nervous on like which colors go with what, these go together. So obviously the same name go together. If you have thin lips, I highly recommend to make sure that you get the lip liners. That'll help to give you a lip plump pout look. Also the Hottie Lip Plumper will definitely help. Isn't that pretty? That is graceful. And let's go ahead and top it with Picnic in the Park. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Oh my gosh, that color. Wow. I've never done this combo, obviously, because this is brand new, but huge fan. So that was Graceful Lip Liner, Graceful Lipstick, and Picnic in the Park Lip Butter. So gorgeous. And again, all three of these, you can purchase all three 20% off under March special. And then for eyes, we're going to go ahead and go in with our palette 10. I'm going to take this color right here, which is the shade modern, modern. And we're going to press this all over the eyelid. And this is going to one act as a brightener. And two, is going to help to hold everything in a place too. If you have a lot of fine lines and wrinkles or oily eyelids, you will love this color. It has primer infused in it and it just brightens and mattifies your eyes. It's so stunning. This again is the Addiction Palette 10, which is one of my absolute favorites because of how good and neutral all these colors are. Like, you can't go wrong. It's so pretty. Now I'm gonna switch up my brush and grab the fluffy crease brush and I'm gonna grab this light brown color in the shade Helpful. And I'm just going to use this into the crease in the outer corner. We're going to stick with more of a softer neutral eye today, but it'll look really pretty, I promise. And same thing here, just in this hollow. Or hollow, <laughs> the crease up onto the brow bone, and then we'll build up that color as we wish. This lip color, you guys, I cannot get over it so pretty for spring and summer too i feel like these lip butters because they have like a really subtle like gloss to them again not a stickiness just a, like like a lip or like a chapstick really they make your lips look so plump my mom's makeup i know i need to get her in here soon for for sure try to do it soon for you guys okay eyes on now we're going to use this little doohickey <laughs> so i got this go ahead and say liner edge and i'll give you the link to it it's kind of cool because on this side it has face nose contour edge so you can hold it here and contour against it or hold it here and contour against it if you want like if you have a hard time with contouring i got it for the eyeliner part which is this so we're gonna try it out we'll see if it works who knows? Let's go ahead. 
The colors on my lips, I'm wearing Lip Liner in Graceful, Lipstick in Graceful, and Lip Butter in Picnic in the Park. And on my eyes, so far I have on palette 10. So we're going to go in with this. This is our uh, Moodstruck Precision Eye Line, a liquid liner. has a angled tip to it. It's black and it's super pigmented. It's super pretty. All right, I've never done this before. I think I'm going to take my cami mirror right here. Tilt this down so I can get actually see what's going on. All right, I'm going to take this <coughs> liner edge and hold it against my lashes, tilting up towards my eyebrow. I'm going to crack up if this looks absolutely terrible. And then with this liner, we're going to go along our lash line first, obviously. My greatest fear is that it's not going to hold and <laughs> it's going to go underneath it. <laughs> so let's find out. I'm all about trying new tricks for you guys. So let's see here. Okay, I'm going, pressing it against there. Not too bad so far. Okay, and now I'm gonna kind of like pull and then like just connect it. Ah. I don't know. What do you guys think? I feel like I can kind of do it better freehand. What do you guys think? Maybe not though, I don't know. did a pretty good job. I'm gonna wipe off so I don't leave a mark. And then I think on this eye, let's learn. Let's do this part first, pulling against our eye. And then when we get to the edge, I'll stop and we'll use it again. the edge. This is called a liner edge. Just say liner edge. I'll give you the link to it. It was super cheap. It was like a couple bucks. All right. Holding. Can you guys see? Okay. Holding. And then now we're going to go against. My only difficulty with this is I like to pull and I can't really like pull. Who else is holding their breath? <laughs> okay, kind of funny, but I had a way easier time on the left eye than the right eye. Like that is way too low, I think. You know what I think I would wanna try is this with shadow. I don't know, actually. What do you guys think? Not the worst. Not the worst that's ever happened. <laughs> okay. I think I'm going to stop. I'm going to end up like one of those people that has like the thick liner <laughs> all over the place. No, I can't find the cap. Oh, there it is. But you know what always helps? Mascara. So we're going to go ahead and set our makeup with our Primeness Set Mist, which is so crucially important if you're not doing this step yet. Um, and then we're going to use our mascara, which will help to kind of make it look better, I think. And then we can go back and add more liner if we need it. Um, what foundation I used today? I used the... Uh, spray foundation in the shade Eyelet today and then I set it of course with the pressed powder in the shade Taffeta and then for lashes we're going to start off with our lash primer of course lash primer makes a huge difference this is really going to help um, 
to extend the lashes. No, I did not use the dip and draw liner. I kind of, I, I would, maybe I'll try again tomorrow using that one. Today I used the liquid liner uh, from us. All right, so now mascara wise, we're gonna go in with the Twisted Mascara. This is hands down my favorite mascara ever. It has argan oil, carotene, and biotin infused in it. It makes your lashes grow while you're wearing it. See, mascara always makes everything look better. <laughs> and it has a micro wand, so it gives you super good separation and length with your lashes, so your lashes never look spider leggy or anything like that. And then what I like to do is I like to kind of go slowly on my lashes. I'll go from the base all the way up and kind of spin. And then along the back side. So the static thing, if you are hearing like static noise, is Facebook, unfortunately. It's just like a glitch that is happening with them. I actually was watching a live the other day for someone else and it was doing the same thing for them. So stinks but we'll just have to wait for them to figure that out so thank you for dealing with that just to watch appreciate you okay so again with this you're just gonna build up your lashes and you guys you can add as many coats of this as you want and your lashes just continue to look that much better and longer and fuller this mascara, I'm telling you, is the best. It's called the Twisted Mascara. It's also transfer-proof, water-resistant, and the perfect shade of black. Backside. Then, what's also really cool is you can take this smaller wand and really fine-tune the lash line. Just like that. You like the liner? Mascara definitely made it look a lot better. I will say that. I don't know if it's gonna bother me that they're a little bit <laughs> different, I feel like. But I don't think it's that noticeable that they're that different. <laughs> Good thing it's only a Tuesday. <laughs> We're going to Subway. <laughs> All right, so there we have it. There is our makeup look for the day. Just very fresh. I will say I am obsessed with this lip combination. Graceful lip liner, graceful lipstick, picnic in the park lip butter that's brand new. I love this color. And then I'm still kind of up in the air undecided if I like this liner edge, but it was a couple bucks, not too bad. So let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, go ahead and say liner edge in the comments if you want the link to that. If you want my lip kit if you want my anything you saw today you can grab everything down here on this little link everything has a love it guarantee uh so feel free if you have to return anything um always want you guys to feel happy and beautiful and satisfied so uh let me know if i could be of any help to you guys and i will see you guys later thanks for watching bye